Yo, k -Pace Guy here, and I have small things that are guaranteed to enhance any home theater. Plus, I'm going to give some of it away. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on, guys? So, if you guys remember, I showed you guys in a few videos in the past a little box that I told you had some mystery tech inside. And inside was all of this. I've been saving up all of these things so that I can make this video to show you guys there's easy ways to enhance your theater. Not necessarily sound wise, but connectivity or make it a smart home, things like that to make it a little more homey, a little more cool. So we're gonna go through all these products and see if you guys can include it in your home theater. It's absolutely cheap. Nothing that I'm gonna show you is crazy expensive. I think the most expensive thing was $59 and the cheapest thing was 10. So there's some really cool stuff that you guys can have in your home theater to make it awesome. So let's get right into it. So I want to start off with this first. And these are smart outlets and smart light switches. And they're really, really cool. And I've already kind of gotten to test it out. And it's easy. Let me see this box. I don't remember what box. I think it was this box that I've already opened for you guys. They're really, really awesome and easy to use. So they're from Simply Smart Home. They, they just snap on. The light switch just snaps on to your existing light as long as you have the toggle switch. Um, if you have like a glider, one of those that you don't flip up and down, but you click on the top, click on the bottom. These are still compatible with those. And then the smart outlet has a microphone on it so where you can communicate with it. Also connects with an app. And they just look like this. Let me show you. So this is the smart light right here. And it has a tactile click on it so you can still manually click it, but it has a microphone and it has an app that you can connect to to be able to voice control anything that has a light switch. So if you wanna say turn on the fan, then you can have it turn on the fan. If you wanna say turn on the light, you can have it turn on the light. And how this works, it's, it's motorized on the back and you'll put um, two AA batteries in the back which come with them in the box. And when you click the button or you use voice command, the motor pushes that light up or it clicks that light on, which triggers your fan or the light. So it's really, really cool, really, really easy way to make your fan or your light switch a smart light. It's really, really easy, really simple. I got these for $10. Um, I got these at Lowe's and they were on clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them and I'm gonna go ahead and give them away. Now, our, I'm already using the light switch. I had the, I had the light plugged up because I wanted to go ahead and test that. But I'll open this box right here and I'll show you guys what the outlet looks like. So this is the full package you're greeted with. You have your batteries here for all the devices, two double A's that it takes. And here's the smart outlet, and it's really, really cool. It also has a glow on the back, so it's kind of like a little nightlight as well. So it has a little ring on the back that glows. You just plug it into a three-prong outlet. And on the sides here are buttons that do two things. The first thing you do is to use it to pair with either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, depending on what you want to use on whatever device you're going to use to connect the app with. And then also, when you have these plugged in, you can manually turn off one outlet or turn off both outlets or have them both on at the same time. So you can go and turn off your outlet, which saves so much energy. So when you're not using that plug or that entertainment system or that TV or that subwoofer, you can click it off. If you're on a vacation, click it off. Um, also, they're surge, they're surge protectors, so they don't do a lot of protecting, but do more than what your standard outlet does. And they also have two USB ports at the bottom, 2.4A. They're awesome, I love them. And of course, right there at the bottom here is the microphone, so you can talk to it as well, as well as control it with the app. So I'm gonna be giving these two, two away, and at the end of this video, I'm going to explain how the, the giveaway is going to go. So let's get on to the next product. So speaking of giveaways, I have a giveaway right here, right now. And the first person to get this code is the winner of this giveaway. Apple iTunes $15 code right here. So if you have an, an iMac, you have an iPad, an iPhone, you have an Apple TV, you're able to use their app store and get apps, movies, podcasts, anything that you like. And right here is a $15 code. Hasn't been used, haven't taken it off yet. So I'm going to grab a pin, or not a pin, but a key. Here we go. I got a key right here, and we're going to go ahead and scratch that off. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show the code 
right here on screen. So get your pen, get your paper ready to write this code down. And whoever gets this code, congratulations on winning 15 iTunes dollars. So we're scratching that off here. I'm just gonna flash this on the screen really quickly. In three, two, one. There it is, guys. Flash it on the screen. Awesome stuff. So that's another giveaway for you guys. Congratulations to whoever got that code first. Hurry, get it, get it, get it before somebody else gets it. Let's move on to the next product. So if you thought those outlets in that light switch, the smart outlet, was really, really cool, I have something a little more smaller, a little um, low profile, connects the same way through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it's really, really cool as well. Caught in the same situation, uses a three-pronged plug here at the back, and has a power on and off switch. So this runs the same way. This works with Google um, Home, it runs with Amazon Echo, things like that. All the smart home things it's compatible with. It has an app as well, so you can control it on your phone, tablet, whatever you have. Um, I don't believe it has voice recognition, so you still have to use the app to control it. So it's not as intuitive as the other one, but it's really, really cool. Doesn't light up or anything, just a basic smart plug. Just goes into your existing socket you have now, and you're able to control it. You're still able to power it on and off. So this is also something that I'm going to be giving away. This is from iCuster comes in a small box like this, got it from Amazon, and I'm gonna try to link everything in the video down below so you can see if you wanna win this or not, or if you just wanna buy it for yourself. Um, not everything that I got was from Amazon, but if I find it on Amazon, I'll go ahead and link it in the description. So if you guys are interested in winning this, stay tuned for more, because I got some really cool things coming up. Now, these two movies that I have in my hand aren't something that you have to get, but the movies in general is something that can really enhance your theater. And I decided to get Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is really, really good. Watched that um, two days ago. It has DTS X encoded into it, and it sounded phenomenal. Fantastic effects. If you guys see, if you guys have seen my setup for Atmos, it's not traditional, but it sounded fantastic. I was like this the whole movie, like whoa, what the heck? It is really, really good. So I recommend this movie, but in general, just keep getting movies, Blu-rays, get them used. I get mine used from eBay and Amazon for like five dollars, brand. People just wash them once, sell them. So they're in perfect condition, they work fine. And um, try not to get ones that have codes in it because most likely they took the code out of it. But you can get 4K Blu rays for dirt cheap, like seven bucks. So that was the one that I picked. And I also picked Hereditary because I, I love horror movies. So I had to pick up this one. Didn't kind of like it. It was weird, <laughs> not so much scary. It got kind of weird at the end. Um, it kind of picked up a little bit late, but I did like it. It was pretty good. But this is another movie that I decided to get in 4K Ultra HD. I try to get 4K Ultra HD all the time. And if you guys have 4K TVs and 4K projectors, try to get 4K. Use your potential that you have in your system. It can really help. So that's the next product right there. So right here is a D-Link router, different than a modem. So a router doesn't actually give you Wi-Fi. It doesn't disperse the Wi-Fi. You need a modem to have um, a router. But modems and routers are usually in one all-in-one package. So what you're currently using right now is most likely a router and a modem together. But I have a router and a modem separate. And the reason why I have this is because this is made for streaming and gaming. So for those who like to game a lot or have a gaming TV, a gaming PC, a, a gaming um, projector, this would actually really benefit you. Those who like to stream in 4K, watching movies, uploading things to Twitch, things like that, this will really help you too. It has four different antennas, Two of them are 2.4 gigahertz, and the other two are for five gigahertz. And so machines like um, streaming devices like an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire TV, or if you're playing video games a lot, they use five gigahertz. Some phones now, most phones use five gigahertz frequencies. Um, some older devices use 2.4. And so you're able to go through in the settings and configure what device gets how much, um, how much speed, how much bandwidth. Things on five gigahertz usually take up more bandwidth, so they need more speed. So your five gigahertz is gonna be faster. That's why it's perfect for streaming 4K content. Everybody watches Netflix nowadays. We have Hulu, YouTube, things like that that stream in 4K. Amazon Prime Video, things like that. You can watch 4K much more cleanly because this is is geared towards the fast internet speed that you need. I believe it gets up to. 680 megabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz and 380 on the 
2.4. Don't quote me. Um, I'll have it in the description. It's just a rough guess. I'm not sure. Oh, it says 300, up to 300 for the 2.4 gig, and then 867 uh, megabytes for the 5 gigahertz. So, really nice, really cheap. This was the most expensive thing that I have. I believe it's about, I got this for $59 on Amazon, I believe so. Or $49, I think it was. $49 on Amazon. It'll be in the description. The AC200 from D-Link, really good router. It can really help you guys for streaming 4K movies, listening to high res music, gaming, and all of the sorts in 4K. So this is the Soundcore Motion Q. And no, I'm not giving this away. This thing is fantastic. This is from Anchor. Sound Q motion, Sound Motion Q, Soundcore Motion Q. Looks awesome. Has a good weight to it. But what's really cool is the sound of this thing. But before we play it, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So it's really easy to connect. All you have to do, I got my iPad here. On the top here, you have your play, your volume up, volume down, your Bluetooth pairing, and the power button right here on the top. The power button glows um, white whenever it's on. It blinks red when it's dying. It, um, it has a standby red light when it's charging. But when it's off, it's completely off. It has a really good battery life. I forgot exactly what it was, um, but I'll put it on the screen here when I find it. But it sounds amazing. It gets really, really loud for a small speaker this size. Um, it gets really, really loud, and it sounds really, really good. And you can pair it with other sound core motion cues. So if you want stereo sound, you can. Um, this is more, they advertise 360 sound. Um, there's two speakers in here. Um, one's on the side here, or one's on the side here. But when you have it turned any way, you get sound from any orientation if you have the speaker. And of course you have this really convenient, basically a shoe string of a arm wrist kind of a band right here that you can kind of tie it to. Actually pretty good material, stays pretty sturdy. Covered in like a, a mesh grill, looks really, really nice, feels nice. I believe it comes in different colors as well, so you're off, you can get that. Has a microphone on it too, so this is Amazon Echo enabled. So if you have an Echo device, you are able to connect it to this and use it wirelessly 100%. Um, you can control it from your app, of course, a Bluetooth app, or your Bluetooth on your phone, you can control it. If you're using Spotify, um, Tidal, things like that, Pandora, you can still control this from your phone, but you can also control it from your voice, which I thought was really, really cool. It is completely waterproof. You can um, submerse it underwater. I think it was 30 meters. I forgot how much it was, but you can do it for 30 minutes. It's not gonna get damaged nonetheless. You can put it underwater. It does not float, but it can be underwater for um, about 30 minutes before any kind of damage happens to it. So it is a um, really nice thing. So let's go ahead and show you how to pair it. So you just press the Bluetooth button. It has an audible noise to let you know that you pressed it. it sounds like this. So once you hear that, you are now being connected. It's blinking blue at the top to show you guys that it's searching for open device. And then it actually disconnected. So let me show you again what it sounds like. So that means that it's pairing. It's what it sounds like when it's connected. There you go. So it's that simple. Just a couple presses and you're there. So let's go ahead and give a nice little sound demo. Here you are able to put auxiliary input, so that that's really cool. Not a lot, of, a lot of Bluetooth speakers have that. Sometimes it's strictly Bluetooth. It also has the charging port on the back here, just behind this little rubber flap on the back. Hideaway looks perfect. Just camouflages right back into the side. So this sounds really, really good, and I'm super excited to have it. I might end up getting two just to hear the stereo sound. But that's Soundcore Motion Q from Anchor. Take a look at this thing. This thing is awesome. Now, speaking of 
Amazon Echo Dot. I finally jumped on that bandwagon of having Alexa smart device. So sorry for anybody that has a device and I just said the name. Hope it doesn't do anything crazy while you guys are watching the video. But I have yet to open this, I have yet to use it, and I will not be using it in this video. If you guys are interested in seeing me use it and how I use it, I will make a separate video of that. But there's so many different videos of Alexa. Excuse me, sorry, I shouldn't have said it again. There's so many videos of the Echo Dot or Echo devices. Um, you pretty much know what it does. Now, this is going to be part of a giveaway because here in a couple of days, Amazon has released the third generation of this, which looks super nice. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it here on the screen. Looks super good, has more of a mesh grill on it. It sounds a little bit better. It hears your voice a little bit better in a loud room. And you're able to connect the sub to it. You can get the new, um, there's a lot of new, they got, a, they got a microwave that you can talk to, which is just straight lazy. But it's whatever. If you want it, go get it. I'm not gonna go get it, but they have the third generation of the Echo Dot that I'm gonna be getting and doing a review on that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this Echo Dot, the second generation, away. Of course, I'm still gonna do a review on it first so that we can see how it works and then I'll compare it to the new one and see how that works. So this is part of the giveaway. I have the black version here. Just now taking all the wrapping off so you guys can get a good look. So it has, it kind of wrapped up here. Here we go. It kind of has a glossy finish to it. It's plastic, but it has a good weight to it. It feels pretty sturdy. On the bottom, it has like a rubbery pad on it, so it's not gonna shift, not gonna go anywhere without you actually moving it. The microphone is um, in, the, in the middle there between all four of the buttons. You have your volume up, volume down. You have your microphone on and off button. And then, not too sure with this one, but if, if I have to assume something, I'm sure if you click this, it activates you know who, and you can speak to her. Of course, you can call her name from distance and she'll hear you, and you can talk to her that way. Now on the back here, it looks like there's some kind of plug here, probably the power port, of course, and then um, there's another one, a small little hole here, and I'm not too sure, but I'm, it's in the instructions. I'm not gonna go through it in this video. I just wanna show you guys the Echo Dot itself so you guys can take a look at it and see it. This is the black version. I will be giving this one away and getting the third generation for myself. I'll do a comparison about it, but just want to show you guys, this is a good way to enhance your home theater. It allows you to communicate. You can hook it up to your receiver, to your TV, to virtually anything, and voice command, everything you have. So, hey, you know who, turn on Netflix, or volume up, or switch input to Xbox, or Blu-ray player, things like that. It really helps it be intuitive, and anybody can use it. So, in those, you know, we have family members or things like that who don't know how to control all of your settings, all of your setup. So instead of flipping the remotes, instead of finding your universal remote, you are now your own universal remote. Anybody can say, hey, turn the input to input three or HDMI four, and it will do it for you, hands down. All it says is okay, and then it does it for you. So it's really, really cool. So giving this away, so stay tuned for that. So I have two different chargers here. They're both wireless chargers. This one here is the one that I'll be giving away. This one here is for myself. So this one's really cool. I don't have my phone with me because I'm using you guys, but it just sits right here on a desk, on a nightstand, anything like that. It has a small LED at the bottom. Um, when it's charging, it's green. And when nothing's on it, it's blue. So it indicates when something is actually charging. So blue when nothing's on it, green when it's charging, blue when it's done charging, I believe. So it just sits here, holds your phone at an angle. And the reason why I like this one is because you can use it on your desk while you're typing and still be able to use your phone. So you're not restricted to the ones that lay flat. You can have it propped up like this. It charges really, really fast. It hooks up um, to a USB on the back, a micro USB on the back to a USB port, whether it be a small power brick, if you have a, a USB charger tower, anything like that, it connects to that, your computer, whatever, you just sit your phone on it and it wirelessly charges. Now of course your phone has to have wireless charging capabilities to be able to use this, but it does really good. So this is a giveaway for you guys, if you're interested in this, I will tell you guys how to win at the end of the video. Now for this charger, this is also a wireless charger, but more of the more conventional one here, and with this one. It comes with the same kind of charger we're gonna use. It's a 
micro USB, the ones with the forks, the prongs right there that you stick in. Wish it was USB Type-C, but it's not. This one's from Anchor. I'm not 100% sure where this one's from. Let's see, from Cineo. Not too familiar with them, but this works very, very well. I have tried it. And I'm very familiar with Anchor. Anchor makes great things, including that Bluetooth speaker and more Bluetooth speakers. They also dabble into some of the phone accessories as well. So of course, you come with their standard instructions here. But the wireless charging pad is super, super small. It just looks like this, no bigger than a coaster. It has rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna go anywhere. You just lay your phone flat on it and it wirelessly charges. So I'm super happy to have this. This is more for the nightstand in your bedroom, things like that, where you can just sit on there and you're not gonna touch your phone for a while. Very nice, has quick charging, does very, very well. I cannot wait to use this. Now we have two more things left to show you guys. And neither of these are giveaways. So if you saw anything before that I mentioned in a giveaway that you guys want, here in a couple minutes I'm going to show you how to get it. But let me see if I can get this thing out, which I don't even remember what it is. I don't remember what it is. I went ahead and bought all this stuff and saved it for you guys for a while, so I kind of forgot what I got. Ah, I remember now. I think there's something else in here actually. It might just be the instructions, which I don't too much think we'll need. But this right here is an iPad dock slash laptop dock, things like that. This has so many different configurations. So as you can see, I'm playing with it right now, but this is actually how it goes. It has rubbery grips at the bottom, so you can sit here and you can adjust it however you need it. And it bends in so many different directions depending on what you want to use it for. So you can see you have a lot of options however you would like to use it. Really, really cool actually, I didn't know it did all that. But what I'm gonna be using it for, and what you guys may find it useful for, is this. So if I grab my iPad, where did you go? Here we go. This is awesome. So this allows you to hold your iPad on top of it if you'd like to. Now you have an iPad stand. I think that's awesome. That's so awesome. And the reason why I think it'll work well for you guys, because a lot of you guys like to stream things, or you have tablets that control your whole media center, and you're able to just quickly press a couple buttons and do it that way. It can hold your phone, I believe it streams in enough to hold your phone, so you can have it as a home dock if you'd like to you for your phone. You can do that as well. So it's just nice, it's low profile, so you can just put it away on a desk, on a nightstand, on a, on a end table on your couch, anything you like. And you can simply just hold it there. So it's really nice and convenient, something small, very inexpensive. Um, let me see if it has a brand name on here. I'll have to find it for you guys. It will be in the description below. It doesn't have one. It just says Amazon Basics, so it's probably an Amazon product. So yeah, you can just put anything you absolutely want on it. It's fully adjustable, so you can hold smaller iPads, bigger iPads, you can hold your phone, any other tablet you may have for the kids. It's awesome, it's simplistic, and it works. So last but not least is this six port USB charger. And I've already opened it. I'm currently using it in my setup right now, but I'll show you the box. It has six USB ports. And what's really cool about this one is it's a smart USB port. So depending on what you plug up into it, it configures how much voltage it needs for the device. So on the bottom here, you may be able to see it. Each port has a label on it underneath each port. So we have a smart port at the top. Um, there's two smart ports at the top. The first two are smart. The next two are iPads or iPhones. And then the last two are Android. So usually you're gonna have either Android phone or iPhone, whether it's Samsung, whether it's iPhone, whether it's LG, whether it's any of the other Android phones out there, you're gonna have one or the other. And then you're, you're probably gonna have an iPad or any, of, any kind of Apple kind of product. And then of course, a smart charger. And all of these are supposed to be kind of intuitive as far as how much voltage you need, uh, depending on what I plug out. So if I plug up my iPad to the iPad port, it knows how much juice it needs. If I plug my phone, it knows what kind of phone I'm plugging up. You're not restricted to what it says though. It's kind of like a, a guide almost, but you can plug up anything you want to this. And I, I can kind of show you here. I have it plugged up behind my computer right here. It looks like 
this, if you guys can see it back there, I have it kind of tucked away, but it holds the ports right there on the actual, the actual device itself. It doesn't have those labels on it, but it does on the box. And I have all my stuff plugged up to it right now. I have my keyboard, I have, um, I think my gaming charger for my controllers are on there, my subwoofer wireless adapters are on there and it has a small LED on the bottom to let you know that it's on. That about wraps everything up guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. This is one of our longer videos. I wanted to make a little bit longer video to really go in and show you guys all the cool things that you can have to enhance your home theater. Super easy to enhance your home theater with. It's small, it's cheap, but it really makes a big difference. Now as far as the giveaway, I have everything that I'm giving away again. It's an Amazon Echo Dot, the fast charger, the smart outlet right here, and then the smart two two outlets and two um, light switches. They're both they're all smart, so you're able to plug this up and do it that way. So I'm giving these four things away, and the way that I want to do this giveaway is simple. Of course, you have to be a subscriber. I don't give anything away to those who aren't subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Also, leave a comment on one thing that you want. If you leave a comment for more than one thing that you want, I most likely will not pick you for any of them. So leave one thing that you think you want. And most people will say the Amazon Echo, of course. A lot of people will say the outlet chargers, and that's fine. I'm gonna go through the comments like I always do. In about a week, I'm gonna have a, have a winner for each of the products. So if you name Amazon Echo, Amazon Echo, Amazon Echo, I'm gonna pick one out of everybody who answered Amazon Echo and pick that winner. Same thing for any of the other devices. If somebody, if we got 10 people who want this and 40 people who want that, I'm picking one out of the 10 and one out of the 40. One out of the 100, one out of the 10. It just, this is how it's gonna go. So in about a week, so next Monday, Today's the first, so the 8th, October the 8th, I'm gonna announce the winner in the next video that I do. But leave a comment down below what product you want and what you're gonna use it for. So if you're gonna use the Amazon Echo, say, I would like to have the Amazon Echo. I feel like I could use it with this, 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 okay? Or if you have kids, my kids don't know how to use my system, so I want to have voice control. Whatever you may be using for, leave it down below. Let me know what you guys are going to use, what you pick for. So if you're going to get the outlets, tell me why you're going to um, tell me why you want them and what you're going to use them for. How are you going to benefit from them? And then of course I will go through all the comments like I always do, and I will pick one winner for one device. So we're going to have four winners for these. And then we have the winner for the iTunes gift card that we gave away in the very beginning of the video. So I hope you got that. I um, hope you're still watching at this point too. So, and if, even if you won the iTunes gift card, you can still win something else as well. I don't know who won it. Um, so congratulations if you get to. But leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video to be entered to win. And you will be announced on the 8th, Monday the 8th. So thank you guys so much for being here. Again, a longer video, but Thought it would be really, really cool, really fun to do something like this. So stay tuned for more. I have a lot of cool things coming up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.